This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except the Most High gave me, gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom, also to know whose gift she was, I prayed unto Yahweh and besought him with my whole heart. I said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ha'arachakwadash. The honest our apostles, that great millstone who wrote away that tell us this truth. Peace and blessings to you, Hakim, that's part of the Bayasha that would die in the house of David. All right, um, through the spirit of Pavi Abba I brought that script, uh, specific scripture out through the spirit. All right, it was in the Solomon 8 chapter. I was reading it earlier today, and it just struck me, you know. Um, hey, let me see, I'm gonna read it over again. It says, nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, and that's talking about wisdom, except the most I gave her me. So, you know, the wisdom, not your understanding that we have, Akim, all right? It's like Yahweh Shai told Peter, okay? When he said, who, who, the, um, who, who do you say I am? You know, he said, you know, the son of the most high, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord told him what? You know, flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you. Okay, but the Father from heaven has, and just like us, through the Spirit of Prophet Yahweh Bashim al this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we have that's been revealed to our apostles and then uh, trickled down onto us, and then as well as other mysteries, right, have been revealed to us and gave, given to us by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. All right, and it says, um, I could, nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her because unless the heavenly father gives you this wisdom all right hey you can know otherwise obtain her that's why these uh these christians and these uh specific other groups they do not know the mysteries of the lord man all right they don't know specific wisdom knowledge understanding of the lord all right that's why hey because it's it's, it's become unto them as a parable all right and a dark saying the stuff that we teach but unto us is revealed man and we, we can't get this knowledge by us, all right? It comes from the Heavenly Father from up above. That's why we don't boast in the knowledge that we have. And that's why the scriptures say knowledge puffeth up. Because even like a lot of these other uh, groups or camps, all right, that get specific knowledge, they act like they found it on their own, all right? But no, they haven't found it on their own. It's Yahweh Bashim al Shai, all right, that revealeth the secrets and his uh, secrets to, and mysteries to the service of prophets, Amos uh, 3 and 7. And it says, um, I could not obtain her except the Most High gave her me. So we cannot, we, hey, these mysteries that we've been shown, all right, the Heavenly Father has revealed them to us, just like He's revealed them to the apostles, all right? It says, so, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. And wisdom is a gift given to us by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? It's the actual gift, man, okay? So given given this knowledge, this truth, coming back to your nationality, who you are, all right, that is a gift given from the Heavenly Father, man. And that's the Heavenly Father's ultimate gift to who? The elect, okay? The complete 100% understanding on this side, you know, pertaining to salvation, 100% truth, which a lot of these guys, they try to, oh, they the, the, the apostles say they got 100% truth. That's for how we, this good. Look, man, we got a 100% truth as pertaining to salvation, man. Now, all the other stuff, you know, pertaining to out of this world and specific things, and elements. Hey, we're going to get sp other specific things in the kingdom, man. Okay? But right now, we have 100% truth as, as a you know, as far as uh, um, salvation. Okay? And what we need, basically, on this side through the Spirit, all right, to help us, what, get get through uh, Jacob's trouble. The wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay? And it says... I prayed unto the Lord and besought him and with my whole heart I said and when you go up to the ninth chapter it basically explains you know when uh, Solomon which is Yahweh Shai in reincarnation okay uh, when he prayed to the Lord man alright when he prayed to the Lord what he asked for okay and then what the Lord what the Lord tells Solomon he said because you haven't pray, prayed for riches of this and that you pray for wisdom alright I'm gonna add all these things unto you and, and more all right. So that's the same thing through the spirit that we have to be praying for. All right. The wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the heavenly father, man. 
because wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability at our times. And it says, uh, second Corinthians, uh, second Corinthians, um, two and let me see. Uh, I'm going to start at 10, but the most high hath revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things. Yea, the deep things of the most high. And that's, that's what Solomon did. He searched the, th uh, the deep things of the heavenly father with the wisdom, not your understanding. That's all you go through, uh, Song of Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon, Sirach. All right. Those are things to be able to, hey, Proverbs, those are things to build you up through the spirit. And those are the secret things, which Proverbs means uh, a dark sayings. All right. The parables, dark sayings. Okay. It says, um, Sirach, yeah. for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of Yahweh knoweth no man, but the spirit of Yahweh. Right, because the things we know, all right, Lord willing, hey, the, like uh, First Peter's, the fourth chapter say, you know, um, that we know that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth within us, okay, through the tribulations and things that we go through. So, it says, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but also oh, like it. Uh, verse twelve. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of the Most High. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh, man. All right. So the same thing like Solomon said. It was in the Solomon, the eighth chapter. You know, I got to get that again, man. That's that chapter is your pie, man. Shoot, the, the whole chapter, I was reading it. Uh, Salakia. We'll keep reiterating it. Salakia, my eyes are a little red. I'm a little tired. I just got off the plant. Um, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except the Most High gave her me. And that was a point of wisdom to know who gift she, whose gift she was, man. And the gift of wisdom comes from Yahweh by Shemiah man. All right? Verse 8. The gift of wisdom comes from Yahweh by Shemiah man. The things that are freely given from above coming from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And that's why the Lord expressly said, you know, uh, darken the eyes lest they see, uh, um, close their ears lest they hear, you know, um, Isaiah the sixth chapter, and also Yahweh Shai spoke on it, you know, lest they be healed or converted. Not everybody, this gift isn't for everybody, okay? This gift of wisdom is not for everybody. Okay, it's only for the elect. That's why the scripture is saying Romans the 11th chapter, but the elect have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right. Let their table be a snare unto them. All right. And a trap. Okay. Because a lot of these, um, a lot of these Christians and like vocab and stuff like that, you know, hey, through the spirit, they haven't received freely the gift. Hey, they haven't received these specific things. First off, we think, you know, vocab could be a fucking heathen. All right. But even at that, you know, our, our people have not received the things which are freely given, you know, unto them. All right. Which is what this knowledge. That's why a lot of our people are still in the Christianity. They, they still follow Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes. All right. They still follow these pulpit pimp uh, preachers. And also, too, they still follow these other philosophies, these other Babylon, Babylon, um, Americanized uh, philosophies, man. Being a Muslim, being a uh, Something latter day saint like this dude, this is car right uh this week, man, came up to us and was like, I'm a latter day saint, you know. Which the real saints are the elect, all right, of Israel. Okay? But he came up, oh, I'm a latter day saint. Then you got Jake that's into uh the Muslim shit, man. And you got Jake that's into Seventh Day Adventist, that's into Mormon, you know, that's into Jehovah Wickedness, all right? And the Lord has hey, the Lord has blinded their eyes. You know, and set a, a and set a um, a trap at the table so they can't obtain this truth, man. You know, and a stumbling block. See, a stumbling block can be a lot of things. All right, it could, it could, especially when it comes to this knowledge. Oh, the white, you can't hate the white man. Oh, you you talking about? I ain't even gonna say that, but you know, you you brothers pretty much know and get the point. You know, you brothers pretty much know, man, through the spirit, because there's a lot of stumbling blocks in these scriptures, man. That's why the scriptures say, uh, that's why Yahweh Shai said in Matthew's 18 chapter, um, uh, uh, that offenses must come, but woe to who the offense cometh, okay? Because through the spirit, 
A lot of these people are offended at the word, man. But hey, like 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 the Lord said too, man. It's not going with into. It's not what goes into a man that defiles him, but what comes out. Because a lot of these people just be condemned by their words, man. You know. But Lord willing, you know, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. I'm gonna say, call la yam la Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harachak with Dash. All right, double honors to our apostles, a great millstone who will wear to tell us the truth. And peace and blessings to Yaakim, as part of the Bayashah, David, the house of David. Till next time, Shalom.